tax evasion. ABS-CBN also violated the terms and conditions of its franchise by engaging in tax avoidance schemes, which deprived the government of the much-needed revenue. It used its wholly owned subsidiary, Big Deeper Digital Content and Design, Inc., a PESA-registered company, as tax shield. Its main customer is ABS-CBN Hungary. And because of this unconscionable tax avoidance scheme, ABS-CBN alleged effective tax rate in 2018 was at negative 5%. This means that ABS-CBN managed to avoid paying taxes in 2018. Bakit po ang GMA-7 na hindi naman kasing laki o kasing yaman ng ABS-CBN ay nakapagbayad ng buwis sa pamahalaan ng 1.6 billion pesos noong 2018? Samantalang ang malaalamat na ABS-CBN ay walang binayarang buwis. Bakit naman nakalibre ang ABS-CBN noong 2018 sa negative income tax nila na 84 million? Ibig sabihin po nito, ay may tax credit pa ang ABS-CBN at ang gobyerno pa ang lumalabas na may utang dito. Wala pong pagkakaiba ito, mga kababayan, sa isang taong nangutang sa tindahan, binigyan pa ito ng sukli. In 2019, ABS-CBN again did not pay its rightful taxes. It avoided this by entering into compromise agreement with the Bureau of Internal Revenue with the latter accepting the settlement of 152 million pesos plus plus from ABS-CBN equivalent to only 40% of its assessed deficiency in income tax, value-added tax, and documentary stamp tax payments. But this is only one among the four other cases lodged by the BIR at the Court of Tax Appeals, all of which were also settled by compromise. Bakit po ganun? Hindi po ba nandun sa prangkisan ang ABS-CBN na babayaran nila lahat ang rightful taxes? Kinakailangan po bang sila ay habla pa ng BIR bago sila mapilitang makapagbayad lamang kahit settlement lamang? Ali, ang linaw po ng kanilang prangkisan na babayaran lahat ang kaukulang buwis. Bakit kailangan pong sila ihabla at idemanda pa ng BIR Para lamang sila ay makapagbayad. Buy everything now with Shopee's Million Dollar Discount. Over 3,000 great deals to be found. There are also allegations to date that ABS-CBN's Lingkod Kapamilya Foundation, ALKFI, is being used as ABS-CBN as tax shield. And that ALKFI also failed to file donor's tax return and pay the donor's tax. Ito po ang mas nakalulungkot dito, mga kababayan. Kapag politiko o government official ang nagkawang gawa, EPAL ang tawag dito ng ABS-CBN. Kahit mula pa sa sariling bulsa ng politiko, ang pinanggalingan ito. Pero kapag ito ay galing sa lingkod kapamilya, puro pangalan ng ABS-CBN ang kanilang pinangangalandakan, katulad po ng nakita natin ngayon. Alam naman natin na galing naman sa lahat sa mga donors ang pondo na ginamit nila. Meron po kayang nanggaling sa yaman ng ABS-CBN. Di baling ang pantulong ng ABS-CBN ay galing sa donasyon ng ibang tao. Di baling ang perang pantulong ay mula sa tax avoidance.